Welcome to this video from the Worcestershire Careers Hub team for National Careers Week. My name is Matt Tope and I'm the Careers Hub Manager for the Worcestershire Local Enterprise Partnership. Today we will be discussing our amazing special educational needs students and hope to provide them with some useful advice as they consider their transition towards the world of work. Joining me today are a number of our partners where they will share with us some information about how they're already helping both our SEND students and our schools to deliver high quality careers education and help prepare our students for a life beyond school. We're going to start this video today by meeting Emma, who is one of our careers leaders working within our SEND schools. She will also be joined by one of her students called James. Hi, Emma. Thanks for joining this National Careers Week session. Before we start, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Hi, thanks, Matt. I'm Emma Nolan. I'm from Chad's Grove Special School in Worcestershire. I am the Careers Transition and Work Related Coordinator in school. It's my job to help prepare our students onto the pathway for adulthood. We're also very lucky to be joined by James today. James, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Hello, my name is James and I am 15. I'm a pupil at Chastro School. Your school's been part of the Careers Hub now for the past two years, Emma. Can you tell us how this has helped change or shape the delivery of careers activities within school? Yeah, the Worcestershire Careers Hub has been invaluable to us. They've given us loads and loads of advice and resources and activities. And they're a helping hand as well. If we've got an idea or if we're trying to meet a benchmark, they can help us think outside the box to be able to do it. James, can I ask how the careers activities you are taking part in school have helped you prepare for the future? Can you also tell us what you'd now like to be when you leave school and grow up? I'm given the chance to try different activities in our lessons, such as teamwork, enterprise and helping the community out. I would like to be a computer editor and editing TV programmes. We've just heard from James speak about his career aspirations. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of the pathways or opportunities that are available to your students in preparation for them leaving school? So I guess our ultimate aim really is to get as many pupils as possible into paid employment. That, that is what we really want to do. We look at it in sort of a, a holistic way that we will pupils that are on the pre-formal pathway, we will get them ready into, so they go and visit specialist colleges, they go and do link events with um, social care settings. So they're, they're ready for that transition. Those on the pre-formal, sorry, those on the semi-formal pathway, we will get those going out again in the community, we'll do link events, we'll get them um, taking a bit of ownership and presenting sort of at, at, at fates and at, at, at um, business enterprise events, those kind of things, and getting them involved in the world of work. You know, with the formal pathway, those are the pupils that, although the, initially there are barriers, they don't know what they want to do, we'll, we'll introduce and we'll support them in a work experience placement so that they can... Um, when we're supporting them, we'll then pull back on that support. So they're there on their own eventually. And we've found, we've had a couple that um, definitely it's worked for them. They've gone down a diff different route and they're actually, and it's, it's, it's allowed the parents to engage that their pupils can actually get into the world of work. They just need a little bit of a hand and a little bit of a pathway of how to get there. We've got pupils that have gone on to do internships with other companies. We've, we've got um, pupils that have got summer jobs through the work experience that they've done. And it just proves the point that with a little bit of help, you know, rather than looking at them as unable to do things, they can do things and there are things in the workplace that our pupils can do and they achieve it really, really well. And they're such good fun to have as part of a team. Is it realistic for an SEND student to think about entering the employment and taking up paid work? Yeah, absolutely, it is. With the right encouragement and the right pathway and the right support, 
yes, absolutely, they can get into paid employment. And there are so many jobs out there that if you can just change your mindset of just getting an SEND pupil into your workplace, uh, they are invaluable. You would, you, they, the things that they bring to the table are invaluable. Emma, can you tell me a little bit more about how adults, teachers and even parents can support SEND students with their transition into the world of work? I, I think, you know, it, it is a whole joined up thing that we all need to be doing. The, the transition into the world of work, you know, teachers giving them the skills that they need to be independent thinkers, to money management, time management, all those kind of things are really, really important. And, you know, when it, within our school, they're embedded in everything that we do anyway. We're always giving them the independent skills. Parents, again, that, that's, that's a joined up thing. It, it's great because we, we do talk a lot with our parents and we've got them on board and we say, look, we've got these ideas, your, your son or your daughter um is looking at doing this kind of thing you know we can help them get into some sort of um work placement for a certain amount of time but you know it'd be really good if you go and get them to volunteer in a shop over the summer or anything like that just to get them used to that little bit of a little bit of taking ownership of it um i just think that if if we've the more pupils that we've got going will send pupils that are going into the workplace and the more aware people are of what their abilities are rather than their disabilities I mean, we've got a fantastic connection with a um local company that has taken on two of our um two of our pupils and even the dad afterwards with the one of the pupils when she finished her placement and they offered her a um they offered her a job there he was in tears he said I never ever thought that my daughter would get a job so that is really powerful and that's a really massive thing that you know we we've taken her in there we've supported her but the parents were there as well they were on board because through the summer they would have had to have taken her and transported her so it's having companies that are on board that are forward thinking as well so if, if, we, if we can all do the same and we all want the same we all want these pupils in paid employment we all we all part play a part in it i think james have you undertaken any volunteering or work experience while you've been at school and if so what did you enjoy most about it yes i have i washed uh helped the local police at bronxborough washing the cars i also helped do up their communal garden the police station and it also sometimes the police came out and helped us walk through the cars we also got to see some very cool things like police dogs or armed sponsor units coming out and we also got to play the police cars sirens one final question james do you have a top tip that you'd like to share with other SEND students as they plan their journey towards the world of work Yes, I have a tip. It doesn't matter that you are different. You can try anything you can be and you can be anything you want. It may take a little bit harder work, but you can still do it. Thank you both so much for your time today. Uh, and James, may I wish you the best of luck in the future. Uh, and I really, really look forward to uh, hearing about you becoming a video editor real soon. Next, we will hear from somebody who is leading on a number of programmes to support the development of careers education nationally for SEND students. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for joining us for this National Careers Week session. Before we start, would you kindly introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about you? Thanks, Matt, and thank you for having me today. It's lovely to be able to speak to you all. Um, so my name's Kelly Dillon, and I work for the Careers and Enterprise Company. I am the Education Manager for SEND, Disadvantaged, and I manage our Resource Directory. 
We've just heard from Emma, who's spoken about the transition pathways available to students across Worcestershire, and from her student, James, who's told us a little bit more about his own career aspirations. Kelly, could you tell me a little bit more about why it is so important for students to be offered the opportunity to enter the world of work and what support is available to them nationally? Thanks, Matt. Yeah, it, it's really important for every young person to have that exposure to the workplace to enable them to really see the possibilities for them. And for young people with SEND, it's about building their confidence and really enabling them to make that transition. There are lots and lots of different pathways open to young people with SEND that offer that extra bit of support um, to ensure that they do feel fully equipped and ready to enter that world of work in a positive way for them and for their parents and the other people around them. Kelly, can you tell me who are the biggest influencers in their decision making process? So when we're thinking about influencers, it's always the people that are around that young person. So particularly their parents and, and them really talking about aspirations and what's possible for them. We've then got the teachers and the learning support assistants that support them. So they really do influence what that young person would see as a possible option for them when they do make those next steps. What are the biggest barriers facing SEND students? When we think about barriers, unfortunately for young people with SEND, there, there are a number. Um, lots of them are around aspiration raising and really seeing what is possible. And that can come from their parents not really having an understanding of how they can enter that world of work properly and the support that's available to the young person themselves believing that they are, are not the right person for that job. So it is really about them overcoming those barriers and how we can support them by raising awareness, getting them exposure to employers, really building that pathway for them so that they feel really confident in making those next steps and do truly believe that that is something that they are more than capable of, which is the case as we know. What work is currently being undertaken nationally by the Careers and Enterprise Company to provide our SEND students with more support to help them enter the world of work? So at the Careers and Enterprise Company, we really can see that more work is needed to support these young people. So we've got a number of initiatives at the moment. We've got our SEND Community of Practice, which is, involves 32 careers hubs across England, each of which have been given a small pot of funding to really drive the, um, the activity that they've got to support these young people. So there are lots of different things that are happening as part of that, including parental awareness, um, employer engagement, resource development. Um, in particular, we've had some fantastic resources from Inspiring Worcestershire team that we have managed to circulate across our network. And the learnings from that, those community of practices will enable other areas to really push their activity for young people with SEND. We've got lots of other things going on. We're working with our partners to really ensure that resources developed are suitable for young people with SEND in no matter where they may sit within that spectrum, within that disability, um, we really do want to support them. We're doing a lot of work around enabling employer encounters. We've got some investment funds that are due to finish in March that there again will be some learnings from that around mentoring, around particular groups of young people with SEND and how we can best support them. So there's an awful lot of work going on and that will continue um, over the next year as well and really develop and share that practice. Wow that really sounds amazing Kelly. You touched on it there but can I ask for more of an explanation about what role employers are playing in supporting this activity? Yeah of course employers are really really keen to support our young people with SEND and the biggest barrier for them is understanding how best to do that so as part of the, pro of the projects that are ongoing, there is a lot of work going into raising that awareness of employers as to how they can best support those young people with SEND. There are a number of fantastic employers that already have programmes. Um, for example, National Grade have got a brilliant supported internship programme and there's lots of others. It's something that really is um, a, an area that employers want to get involved in. It's just about raising their confidence to enable them to do that better. Kelly, can I ask what advice you would give to any parents of our SEND students about how they could go about picking the right transition for their son or daughter? Transition for any young person is obviously a huge part um, and, it, and it can be really challenging, but particularly for our young people with SEND where they may not 
really have awareness of all of the possible pathways open to them. So it's really important as a parent that you do your research, you know your young person better than anybody else as to what environment they would fit into, what they absolutely love doing, you know, where their interests might be and what they're actually capable of. So it's about liaising with the school or college where your young person is and, and hearing from them and really getting that support but also raising your awareness around the options that are open. There's lots of advice and guidance out there from many charities, MenCap, for example, SCORE. There's lots of different ways that you can find out about the different pathways that are available, and, it, and then you can make that informed choice for your young person. Kelly, what would your advice be to any of our amazing SEND students listening today? My first bit of advice would be a line from my favourite SEND school up, in, up here in the Tees Valley, focus on what you can do, not what you can't. And that's the biggest thing for our young people with SEND. It's about them believing in themselves. They are so capable of, of entering the world of work and they just need to really show people what they can do. Because once you see that, then any employer would be beating the door to get them employed because they are all absolutely fantastic. And it is just about making sure you are able to tell that employer all about yourself in the best possible way. Kelly, thank you so much for your time today. Um, let's hope this amazing work continues uh, to grow and we get to see many, many more uh, opportunities becoming available for our SEND students in the future. In this next section, we're going to hear from a local employer about how they're supporting our SEND students across Worcestershire. I'm delighted to introduce Natalie. Natalie, can you tell us a little bit about you and where you come from? Hi, uh, Natalie Cutler. I'm the HR manager at Bumble Whole Foods. Uh, we're a local family company in Bromsgrove. Um, we do egg products, so we literally break millions and millions of eggs uh, produce a, a liquid product and we send that off to um, lots of things that you would recognize like Marks and Spencers and Greggs. Thanks for that Natalie. I understand that you're also uh, part of our Enterprise Advisor Network working closely with one of our SEND schools. Uh, would you be kind enough to tell me a little bit more about the role and how you support our schools? Yeah um, we we actually work very closely with um, Chad's Grove School. It's a local school. It's literally walking distance from the factory. Um, we've done a lot of work over the years, just, just like um, sort of Christmas support, putting Christmas gifts in, making contributions, Easter. Um, but um, Emma has been talking to me in the last couple of years about how we could perhaps um, work in regards to satisfying some of the career curriculum. Um, so we started um, a, a work experience uh, project. Uh, we've had one plus a little bit uh, <laughs> example so far. Uh, we were a little bit um, curtailed by COVID this year, um, but we've had one really successful experience uh, where we've had um, uh, one of their students come up and spend some time with us. And it we, we, we did a, a full work experience program um, and this person was so brilliant and we got so much from it. We actually employed them over the summer as well. Um, and, it, and it's um, really helped them and it's, it's helped us. Um, we're also doing lots of videos as well, um, you know, because COVID has curtailed what we really want to do. So we're doing lots of videos and material uh, to support the students in what the different jobs are available um, and what is around and, and, and the journey from school to work. Um, it's, I've got to be honest, it's been great fun. Um, it's not a chore or anything like that. It's, it's a delightful job, it's brilliant. It's great news to hear that Bumble Whole Foods have taken that big step into supporting SEN students. Did you face any challenges in particular when you were supporting Ashley through her work experience programme? Yeah, there, there, there were a few. It wasn't um, it wasn't ever going to be a straightforward exercise, but I think I think that's more the learning process. That's what we get from it as a as a company. Um, 
it's it's understanding that just because someone has particular needs or needs particular support it it's it shouldn't be investigated and looked at uh, and um, we've had to sort of uh, be very imaginative. Um, we clearly want to give um, our work experience people as much opportunity to experience as much as possible in working life. Um, we found it, um, it was important for us to sort of show Ashley and, and later on Angel um, the different elements of work so that they can find what they're good at, what they like doing. And so we wanted to give them every experience. So we spoke to the school, we spoke to the parents and we spoke to the individual and said, right, what, what do we need to do to help you do this job or make you feel comfortable and safe in doing this job? And so um, there's been a lot of work with Emma and uh, myself in preparing us so we can um, actually make this a really positive experience for the individual. But it's been great for us. It just dealing with someone that needs a bit of support with reasonable adjustments that you make, having that imagination, it's it's been a, a wonderful experience for us from a learning point of view, but also from a morale point of view. Um, just having someone around uh, and and having that positive impact. That sounds amazing, Natalie. Um, can you expand a little bit and tell me um, if this has had any more impact on your existing staff? Um, but also, has there been any benefits, uh, wider benefits to the organisation? Absolutely, yes. Um, as far as uh, morale is concerned, which is a big thing for me as HR manager, um, it's had a wonderful impact. Um, everyone has been queuing up to meet these people, to meet our uh, SEND students. Um, I've got people in the office that want to spend time with them. I've got people on the workshop floor that want to spend time with them. They come up and actually getting people from upstairs and downstairs to talk with each other and have something in common and something to get excited about has been, um, has been it was brilliant. It was, it was a really, positive year and an experience for us um, and probably no no short um, short contribution from Ashley herself particularly and Angel was going to go the same way um, with their positive attitudes and that just that sunshine approach um, as far as um, uh, wider benefits are concerned yes absolutely um, we have a CSER policy um, in place and um, uh, we actually entered a, a competition last year um, because we were proud of, of what we've done and um, excited to do it and think everyone should do something like this. Uh, can't sell it enough in that way. Um, we um, won a, an award with um, North Worcestershire business leaders um, for our CSER work. Uh, and that was um, around a lot of the charitable work we do, but also it was around the work experience that we're doing with Emma and Chad's Grove. From an employer's point of view, Natalie, what advice would you give to an SEND student thinking about entering the world of work? Yeah, that's actually, it's a tough one. Um, but from, from the, an employer's point of view, um, what, what became clear with dealing with these two students was that the focus, the focus is always on the what makes them an SE, SEND student. We're not interested in what people can't do. We don't judge any of our employers, employees in that way. We don't look at someone in front of us and say, what can't you do? What can you do? You can do a lot. And we know at Chad's Grove uh, with, with uh, the students that we've had that these students are exposed to so much skill that we can use in the workplace. Think about what you can do and what you can bring. Um, don't focus on what you can't do. That's too easy. Um, it's too easy and it's unfair on you. So come to work, tell us what you can do and don't be afraid in these experiences to try everything. It's not about making mistakes and not making mistakes. It's about having a go and understanding what it is you like, what you get from it what um what gives you a thrill when you complete it what gets you excited because 
you know, it's not about coming to Bumblehole for the rest of your lives, although we probably would have taken both of them <laughs> with us. Um, it's about um, getting you ready for that wider, unsupported world out there and, and to show you that you can do it. What can you do? What do you want to do? Thanks, Natalie. That sounded like some really brilliant advice for an SEND student to consider. On the flip side now, is there any advice that you would also give to the parents of an SEND student and how they could possibly support their son and daughter uh, through this transition process? Yeah, there, there, there is. I mean, what we didn't expect and we got when we were working with Ashley um, from Chad's Grove is we actually developed a really good relationship with her parents. Um, we went through on quite a journey with Ashley um, and it was important that the school were involved, but it was important that um, when we employed her during that summer break, when it wasn't work experience, so it was outside the work, the, the school remit, um, we developed that relationship with the parents. They came in, they spoke to us, we showed them what we were doing. Um, and it's, it's a little bit, don't be afraid to get involved um, uh, early on and ask questions um, because I, I think they were reassured. There was the doubt that actually we would maybe damage her, her confidence. Um, would we treat her in the right way? Um, you know, is it, is it cheap labor? Is it a cheap stunt? Um, and, and of course the answers to all that is no, um, but they're, they're, absolutely fair concerns and fears to have uh, so so get involved um, ha have a chat with the person that's um, setting the, the the work up um, because um, particularly with Ashley who thought actually I, I want to work here forever which is great and lovely and very flattering but with discussion with the parents it was it was actually no we're not going to have you it's a hard conversation but um we're, we're not going to have you because the right thing for you is to go to college it's to go to college um expand on what you've already learned and and then make the right decision for you and find your way we, uh, and and i hope that re reassures parents um this we're here to help them uh we're here to help chad's grove uh we're working in partnership um with with both of those parties once again natalie some fabulous tips there um my sort of final question to you today is um it's really important for us to to encourage more employers uh to get involved in supporting send students um, what would you say to an employer who's either considering supporting an send student or actually hasn't even thought about considering uh, an SEND student yet? That's easy, go for it, go for it. Um, the support we've had with Chad's Grove um, has been brilliant. They have taken such a lot of work and effort with us to make sure that we get the, um, the right SEND student to the right sort of company. Um, they've been so conscientious about that. It's been nothing but a positive experience. Uh, of mentions, uh, we, we've won an award, uh, we've been nominated for others. Uh, the, the powerful impact of morale, um, it's been, it was obvious when we were enjoying the experience, but, but the loss of it over COVID has been palpable. Um, um, so, so do it. And from an HR point of view as well, um, your imagination, the way you look at your people, the way you look at your staff, it, it really does um, focus you on what can people do? Not what can they not do, but what can they do? Uh, and that positive, imaginative um, sort of um, thing that comes from that. So yes, do it. It's a bit of work, um, but it's been so rewarding and so positive. It's it's almost cheating to call it work. It, it's been um, a real labor of love from all of us, from the MD, the owner, to the um, guys doing the hard work on the factory floor. Um, everyone's taken part and taken ownership. Um, and that for any employer is, is a wonderful, 
wonderful um, asset. How do I engage my staff? I'll tell you what, go and um, find your SE, SEND school and talk to them about having that positive impact on the community because the pride you get from it is absolute, well, it's hard to, it's hard to actually put it into words. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sold and we will be doing this for as long as Chad's Grove want us. Natalie, thank you so much for your time today. Um, I've really enjoyed hearing from you, um, not only about your role as an enterprise advisor, um, the work that you at Bumble Whole Foods have been doing to support the SEND students at Chad's Grove. Thank you for joining me today as we learn more about the different ways in which our amazing SEND students are supported both locally and nationally to prepare them for a life beyond school. If you would like to get involved yourself as a local employer or as an individual or want to explore some more of the pathways open to SEND students, then please follow in the inspiring Worcestershire Careers Hub social media channels, visit the Skills for Worcestershire website or call the Careers Worcestershire helpline. Thank you.